Martin, do you want to kick us off, please? Stephen, hi there. Um, your manager, Giovanni, was just asked about the comments of your captain uh, after the Champions League game there uh, midweek, saying it's a great bonus for us. We want to do our best in it, but the main focus is the league and domestic cups. That seems to have not been down too well with, with Rangers fans and certainly drawn some crit criticism from the media, people like Chris Sutton writing about it this morning. What's your react thoughts on that? If, if, if I can ask, um, do you see it as a bonus? Is that the right way to, to put it? Uh, first of all, unfortunately, we know the, the landscape associated with Glasgow and um, I think too much can be read into certain words um, at, at certain times and different contexts can be take, taken from that. But um, I don't think it was as literal as basically the words would suggest in, in terms of what Tav was, was saying. Of course, this is the level we've worked hard to get to get back to, um, the level we want to be competing at uh, and testing ourselves at. Um, so, listen, I think more so with how I would take it would be that we want to be at that level, but we know it's very difficult for us to obviously try and do anything really special in the Champions League with the quality that, that's there. And, Unfortunately, we found that out so far, far in the group, and um, our our biggest chance of success in terms of winning things is, is going to be the domestically, and um, I think that's kind of state, stating the obvious. But of course, we all want to be in the Champions League. We're desperate to uh, get back to that level, and um, obviously, we want to be getting better results than, than what we, what we've shown. But it's um, we know the level's really difficult. Hey, Alistair, please. Stephen, um, as one of the most experienced members in the squad and one of the few players in the squad that's actually got Champions League experience, how important a role have you had to play in the last few days to pick the, the guys up that haven't had um, experience at that level before? Yeah, listen, there's no hiding away from, from it. We've, we've, we've found it tough. Um, obviously, the game the other night, uh, the result in, in the end shouldn't happen, even with the quality that they have, but we have to use it as a learning experience for, for the squad and Unfortunately, if you give good players time and, and space, then, then you get punished. And, and we found out in a short period of time towards the end of the game after being really competitive uh, for the first 45 to 60 minutes in, in the game. But um, you need to keep those standards throughout, really. And we need to be our very best for 90 minutes to try and get anything from the game. And um, But we're still determined to go and, and try and finish the two games strongly and, and take something from them. Um, but... Of course, as a group, we just need to reset domestically our last couple of performances and results have been really good and it's been trying to carry that on and make sure we bounce back from the other night. Yeah, Derek, please. Hey, good morning, Stephen. The, the manager told us that, that Connor Goldson's going to be out for, for several months. How, how big a blow is that to, to you boys? Yeah, it's. Uh, I'll have to find out if that's the case then. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a huge blow. Obviously, Connor's been a mainstay in the team. Since he's came to the club, we, we know how important he is both on the pitch and, and off the pitch for us. So um, it's, a, it's going to be a huge blow. Um, there's no getting away from that there. But unfortunately, injuries are part and parcel of, of football. And um, as I said, he's pretty much played every minute of every game since since I've came here, since he's been at the club. And um, it's going to be a big loss. Hey, Lindsay, please. Hi, Steve. <clears throat> Just talking about the whole injury situation, is it a massive frustration for you that the Rangers haven't been able to, to field what would be your strongest team this season? You've obviously, Phil Hollander's not come back, John Suter's out, Tom Lawrence is now missing, and now you've lost Ryan Jack as well as Connor. It's um, it's going to be such a, a hard shift for you in the next four or five weeks. Yeah, I think whenever you mention the names that you're mentioning, they're all very important players for us and top quality players um, within the squad. So it's, it's always going to be a blow to, to lose them. Um, obviously, with the number that, that we have lost currently, um, it's it's really frustrating, really, because you, you want to have your best players available. You want to have a fully fit squad and everybody competing, and, and that makes the group stronger. And um, But as I said, that's part and parcel of football as well. And you have to deal with these situations at different times. And, it's up to everybody else to, to step up and, and make sure we do our jobs. Um, Ronnie, last broadcast question. Hi, Stephen. Hi, yeah. um, how difficult is it getting into these Champions League games when the gap between you know the top teams in Scotland and the top teams in Europe seems so large? So I don't really, we all know the level and the level associated with the clubs that we're, we're coming up against, but 
Um, I think for us, we always go in, we want to be competitive. As I say, we, we have found it, it tough. Uh, we've been punished at different stages in different games when, when we haven't quite been at the level that we know we can hit. But um, our ambition is always to go out there and, and try and get results. And we've got two remaining games to, to try and do that. Um, going to be tough once a game, but we just want to go out and give it all because at any level of football, you, you can be competitive, you can go and get results. And, uh, if you're really at it and, and do everything right. But um, it's just to be trying to put that together over, over the course of 90 minutes for us. And if we do that, then we'll give ourselves an opportunity. But it's uh, it's always been a step up in, in terms of the class that we've played against previously.